In autonomous driving and racing, a pursuit controller has the task of commanding a steering angle delta that makes the car follow a desired trajectory. As computational resources often limit the use of model predictive control, geometric considerations can be used to achieve good performance. For this, geometric controllers construct a circular path onto a look-ahead point on the trajectory from which a required lateral acceleration can easily be derived. The issue with the current state-of-the-art geometric controller Pure Pursuit is that it disregards tire slip, an assumption that fails at higher speeds and causes steady-state errors in trajectory tracking. Our proposed method addresses this issue by taking tire slip into account to find a more accurate mapping from acceleration to steering angle. For this, the lateral forces produced by the tires at different steering angles were found through a simple experiment where the car drove at fixed speed and slowly varying steering angle, making it possible to relate the measured IMU acceleration to the forces at the tires. The Pacheca tire model was fitted to the obtained data via regression with expectation maximization. This model was chosen as it captures the transition to dynamic friction at high tire slip angles alpha. To make this method computationally lightweight, a lookup table was constructed by simulating the car until it reached a steady state, resulting in a one-to-one -one mapping between desired lateral acceleration and commanded steering angle. To assess the tracking capabilities of the proposed controller, it was compared to a baseline pure pursuit with equal setup differing only in the mapping from acceleration to steering commands. Both controllers were evaluated on the same track at different speeds. In both tests, the MAP controller achieved faster lap times and outperformed the baseline in terms of average and maximum lateral deviation from the trajectory, with improvements of up to 75% at higher speeds. Notably, the Pure Pursuit controller was not able to complete 5 laps at the higher speed setting as the lateral deviation caused it to crash into a track bound. In this video, the Pure Pursuit controller can be seen failing to track a trajectory at a desired velocity. The MAP controller, on the other hand, is able to track the trajectory at the desired velocity and successfully completes multiple laps.